What's that? I'd like it to open. I'm just not. I'm ne I, you know, Said, I never make predictions. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was kind of momentarily stunned by your original answer, so I, I forgot my question. But I, these will be brief. So, are you okay then with the um, application for arrest warrants against Hamas? Uh, we do not believe that they have jurisdiction over either of the parties of this so conflict, you don't and, that, and that, that includes Hamas, Hamas. You don't think that Hamas we leaders should be prosecuted? We absolutely believe that Hamas should be held accountable. That could uh, be, held hold accountable. on, let me, let me, let me okay. finish. That could be either through the prosecution of the war effort by Israel. It could be, in other it, words, hold on, being let me, killed. Let me, it could be by being killed. It could by being, be, it could be by being brought to justice in an Israeli court. We do not believe the ICC has jurisdiction over either of the parties in this case because the Palestinian people do not represent a state. Okay. And that includes the, the leaders of Wait, the I, But obviously the administration is also troubled by actions that Israel has taken post-October 7th. So where, do, where, where is the accountability for that? Where do the Palestinians go? This is a question I asked Matt, I mean uh, Ned, a, a long time ago, over and over and over again. Where do the Palestinians go to seek Redress. So let me answer this a, a couple of different ways. Um, first of all, in the short term, with respect to questions of war crimes, Israel does have open investigations, uh, a number of open investigations. We uh, made this public when we released our report on National Security Memo 20, including some investigations that have become criminal investigations into conduct by members of the IDF. That is the first instance for, for judging um, whether someone has committed uh, a war crime or a violation of IDF. Uh, uh, code of conduct. That's one of the reasons why we have concerns about the ICC. The ICC is set up to be a court of last resort if a country isn't properly holding itself and its personnel accountable. That's when the ICC comes in, not in the middle of the process as they, ha as they have done here. That said, ultimately, and you know this, Matt, because we've spoken about it a lot, we believe that there should be the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. And an independent Palestinian state would have the ability to join the Rome Statute and uh, uh, become a member of the International Criminal Court as every state in the, the world Okay. Has the right to do, but that's but, but that's but, but that's but that is that is not that is not no that no. So where do they go in the meantime? They are not SOL. I said first of all, the Israel has its own investigations. Second, we have uh, accountability mechanisms here. We have uh, processes that are ongoing to look at Israel's compliance with international humanitarian law. So there are places to look at these questions. It's just in our in our view, fundamentally not a role of the ICC. And I should say, but remember. We have a jurisdictional complaint here and that we don't believe the ICC has jurisdiction. But if you looked at, at the statement the secretary made that I echoed my opening remarks, that isn't our only problem with the action the prosecutor has taken. We also have a problem that he has short-circuited in invest, an investigation uh, and brought this action without waiting to see where these Israeli investigations end up, without completing the trip that he had planned to come to Israel to look into these mm -hmm. questions. So it's not just a question of jurisdiction, okay. it's so also who, a question of the does, way the investigation has right, been conducted. Well, so let's just focus on jurisdiction for a second. Who does have jurisdiction here? So the government of Israel has uh, jurisdiction. Over we the have, occupied territory. We have jurisdiction. Over, over Gaza, which is not we entirely have, they occupied. They have jurisdiction into looking at at uh, the actions okay, by their so military the personnel. Okay, so the Palestinians, if they we, have a complaint, they have to bring it to Israeli we, courts. They, we have jurisdiction and we ha uh, have uh, with jurisdiction? the use of our equipment. I'm sorry. With the, how do you have jurisdiction? With the use of our military equipment Matt, that we how, have provided. How do you have jurisdiction? If you look at the Leahy law, if you look at... Oh, that, that's, uh, jur that's not jurisdiction in a criminal process. That's not in a criminal over... process, but it has to do with... a the determinations that we make and the policies that flow yeah, but from that's it. Not so, but Matt, long term, you were right that we you want to see. You used to work for DOJ, you, Matt. You were Come on. Uh, you, there's, there's it no is, U.S. It does is not, not have jurisdiction. There are here. different. I wasn't referring to criminal jurisdiction, Matt. There are different ways to look at this. Long term, we agree with you that the Palestinian people should be a state that has the and have the ability to make these determinations. But that's not where right. we are today. That's where we're trying to get to. Your time with the